This is yes. Uh, you need to resolute. Resolute. Uh, this is usually bring how it. I resolute. Bring it. Yeah. Bring it. Sit still for a second, please. <laughs> That's the marriage resolution too. Well, we're practically married. Yeah, or husbands, right? Rick. What? Don't ever say that again. Well, we're practically married. Yes. You would totally marry me. I know you would. <laughs> Which one? And a moderator. Which one is your wife? I'm talking about you. Me? I'm talking about you. We're married. I'm definitely not. You gotta beep this out. (laughs) Edit. Sweethearts and Heroes family, welcome to Fort Plain, New York. This is Harry Hogue Elementary School. This is my lab. My name is Lauren Chrisman. I'm the elementary principal, and I'm here with my friends Tom and Rick. Wow, boom. We got a chance to come into Lauren's lab. We got a chance to talk to some of the most amazing students I think we've ever been in front, Fort Plain, New York. When I walked in the door this morning, before we got started with the kids, Lauren blew my mind. She said to me, Rick, She said, we measure our success in the number of hugs we get. And everybody that knows Sweethearts and Heroes, that knows Jason and I, you know that we wear a free hug shirt five, six days a week. Because we know that the brain science behind it, the connection, the chemicals flow like oxytocin, the comfort chemical that they call it, uh, it's amazing. So she caught my attention, number one, and I said, I'm dealing with a rock star here. So we got a chance to talk to our kids, which was amazing, and I saw how well behaved they are, and I saw the way you took control of them, and the thing that I love the most about you taking control of those students is that you showed them how to be quiet, you showed them how to be respectful and responsible. But we need to talk about something else that you said later on. You started talking about the fact that Sweethearts and Heroes isn't really a bullying message, because you even said that the message, the pillar of bullying is great, but the empowerment that you're giving kids is even better. Give me a little bit from your lab. Yeah, well, nowadays kids, I think, they're gonna face a lot of adversity. There's poverty, there's broken homes, there's all sorts of things, working parents, not the support systems that existed long ago. And I think right now, our students need that message of empowerment more than a rescue. It's easy to go in and help a kid to do something, but to teach them how to do it for themselves is an even better way to have an impact on their life. And it will last longer in improving the quality of their life if they learn how to do it themselves. That's why we love this message. Boom. Rick, what do you got? Yeah, so sometimes people are afraid to actually even bring us into the school because of the word bully. Well, okay, take that word bully right out of our program. And what we're doing is building kids. We're just helping kids get through situations that they may not be able to get through on their own by building their character. That's really what we're doing. Take the word bully out of it. I mean, I stand up on stage for 20 minutes in an hour and a half program, and I mention the word bully once. And I'm not even talking about bullies when I do it. I'm talking about 16th century bullies. I'm talking about these sweethearts, these kids that we're trying to create to change the world, but starting in here, starting in their classroom, changing the classroom. Wow, boom. You know, it's funny, Rick, when you said that. I didn't realize that you never really even mentioned the word bullying in your entire piece. Absolutely. That's amazing. And you did an interview yesterday on the news and you, I caught it again where you told the reporter that this isn't even about bullying. And I think Lauren from her lab picked up the exact same thing. That this isn't bullying, it's about empowering, it's about teaching a kid how to fish and not giving them the fish right. and, uh, and it lasts a lifetime. It does. Amazing insight improves life from Warren's lab, Fort Plain, Harry Hogue Elementary. Boom.